some packages in the mail. Let's find out what they are. <coughs> Woohoo! Alright. Da -da. Oh, oh, there we go. I don't want to have my address showing up everywhere. So there we go. Something from Amazon and a big long cylinder. Hmm. Let's get some scissors. Yeah, there we go. All right. Ah, let's open these bad boys First up. This one is a package from Amazon. All right, hang on. This bag looks a bit lacking, though. So let's uh, let's draw some. Uh, let's make it a bit more okay. interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ultra smug. Nice. Basically, conducting a cranio cranial uh, cranial uh, something or rather. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. All right. Let's open this up a bit more. Da -da 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 -da. Da, da, da. Hopefully I don't chop my bed in half. All right, there we go. Get rid of that. I'm sorry, he's not going to make it. So let's dump that out. Let's see what we got. My my my! Wonder what this is. Hmm. Let's see if the camera will focus. This is interesting. It looks like a book called Irish Swordsmanship, Fencing and Dueling in the 18th Century Ireland by, of course, Ben I Miller. I don't know who Ben Miller is. This is actually a very accurate uh, self-portrait of him. Uh, he also did the Self-Defense for Gentlemen and Ladies. It's basically American Bar Titsu, written by a Dane, and, of course, he helped write the preface and forward of a... Uh, Jared Kirby's The Expert Swordsman Companion. So he's a pretty uh, multi-talented fellow. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun to have a quick look through. Let's have a quick flip through it. Oh, look at that, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? There we go, but that's not for now. Review of that later. Let's open up the next package here. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty reasonable package. I just have to, just have to hold it here. Hold on, how am I going to do this? If I do it, if I do it about here, here we go. You know, it's not the size of the packages you get, it's how you use them. So, let's open this guy up. Ah, we've got, we got a tube. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, there's something there. Uh-oh, I wonder what that is. I hope I didn't just wreck it. Yeah, it's a tube. A tube wrapped within paper. Uh, uh. Okay, this is going to take a bit more, uh, a bit more cutting. In order to save time, I pre-cut it. So let's get rid of that and let's have a look what we have here. Mmm, that is an Italian foil. Look at that, true Ricasso, large pommel, hidden in a bit of foam. Let's take this guy out. Okay, we're going to pull that out. Uh... Oh yeah, look at that. Looking pretty good. Okay, let's get this Italian foil onto a bed. Okay, nice. So we have a nice Italian foil. Foil. But wait, there's more, because in that package, there were two Italian foils. Ah, <laughs> ah, uh, uh, this is my life. <laughs> so, as you can see, I actually ordered these on Gumtree, um, and if I can get the focus in, here we go. So. This one has a nice sort of leather edged lining. This one's just felt. As you can see, made in Germany. At least the pads are. As to whether the blades are not, uh, we're not sure. Nice chrome fittings, of course. Aluminium guard by the looks of it. You'll notice the very particular bulge that they have. Uh, this is what separates, of course, a regular foil 
French foil from a sort of Italian one. It has a true Ricasso. Um, I'll have to clean these guys up at some point. Now, let's see if we can unscrew this and have a look at the inside. I managed to uh, get them separated. So there's the pommel, the grip, the little guard. There are no markings that I can tell thus far on the blade, although it has been ground down. Um, and of course, as we can tell on this one, it's welded on the inside. One thing I noticed, as opposed to this one, which is uh, riveted, but I haven't taken this one apart yet. We'll do that later. One thing I immediately noticed, though, is that the, for lack of a better word, quillions, or guard, on the bottommost one extend past, quite clearly past, the circumference of the guard up here. That means, I believe, that this is actually not allowable uh, in competition uh, if you were to use these in a sport fencing uh, context, because believe it or not, you can actually use them. Okay, you can actually use these, so long as the blade, uh, amongst other things, corresponds to the correct rules. But if the guard, this bit here, extends beyond this one, you're not allowed. And the case of this one here is, is that, well, I don't even have to do that. You can just look straight down on top. If I can get it, and it seems to extend a little bit past them, so might not be able to use that no, guard. I could be entirely wrong, but I think that uh, you'll notice that this one has a little, um, I've forgotten the technical name, but this little metal disc, this one doesn't. I think this one is, and I could be wrong, a higher quality because it's riveted plus this, so it has extra features. This one, however, is welded with no extra features, but other than that, pommel, grip, uh, blade, uh, are all basically the same. Leather little pad, felt pad, um, yeah. Just for comparison, I whipped out this foil, French foil, and as you can see, it's basically the same. You guys enjoyed this impromptu unboxing. I'm going to look forward to using these with huh? Huh? Ah, a little bit of that. <laughs> Until next time, catch you later.